Uh, we have a whole different kind of beer for the summer and then a whole another kind of beer for the fall. <laughs> it kind of just changes. I think there's one for all four seasons actually. Uh, but you definitely notice the ones in the summertime because it's kind of the drink of the summer season probably. <laughs> but um, I love how there's always something new. Uh, it's not always the same old, same old. I don't notice very many cool new things in the States. It's kind of like, oh, yay, a new fruit flavor of Slurpee. Wow, that's kind of boring. <laughs> so it's really nice to be here where the seasons are celebrated and uh, honored with these unique items. So I was, uh, my husband actually won a coupon for a free drink. I don't even know how he won it, but Anyways, he had the coupon for it, and it was going to expire, so we went out to go get it. And it was this random espresso soda. So, <laughs> this is made by Suntory, and um, it's, uh, it says here, espresso soda, and it's a sparkling break. You could tell I drank it all. Um, and I'm a huge coffee fan. As I am a huge coffee fan. Um, I've loved it since I was in high school or middle school, which is probably not such a good thing. I shouldn't have been drinking it so early, but huge fan. I love good coffee, um, and some coffee in Japan is not good. <laughs> it's, I think it's terrible and gross, but um, so I was really nervous about this because there's a lot of these kinds of drinks that sometimes I think are too sweet. Um, they have way too much cream in them or sugar, uh, milk or something, you know, it's more like uh, just drinking. Uh, coffee ice cream that's melted, you know, it's kind of gross, but this thing was actually really good. Um, I was surprised. Uh, it's part of this whole thing that's going on in Japan right now where people are freaking out about anything that has carbonation in it. Um, I think there's probably one of those health TV shows where they announced that drinking sparkling water or sparkling anything is good for your body. I can tell if it's one of those kinds of fads because my mother-in-law goes crazy over those things. She watches it, takes it as word of life and implements into her daily routine right away. She swears that the two kilos she's lost in the past few weeks is completely because of drinking sparkling something or whatever. Uh, so uh, people here love to do that. You know, we, you know, you have fads in the States too. I know fad dieting and stuff, but Japan is really funny because it happens like within a month something new comes along. You know, this month, oh, blueberries. Last month, oh, peaches. This month, oh, if you eat chocolate all day, you'll lose weight. Uh, it's it's always something new. You can tell what it is because when you go to the grocery store, that thing's gone. <laughs> so, you know, everybody's excited about it. Um, and this is one of those things, too. It's, it's definitely part of the push to try to get people to understand that you know, if you drink something that's sparkling, it's good for your body. It helps fats digest and be processed more. Who knows? It's one of those things. There's probably a tiny bit of truth to it. But, uh, <laughs> so, but this is good. And I think this might work in the States. I think, like, Starbucks could even have something like this, you know, as part of their line of, you know, coffee drinks. I could, I could totally see that. It is sweet. Uh, but not super sweet. And uh, the carbonation was, you know, kind of refreshing, <laughs> which I guess that's what's supposed to be is refreshing. Um, you know, but I think with the whole part of wanting to try to get people to cool down in ways other than using air conditioning, you know, beverages are definitely selling a lot more trying to get people to chill. So this is an, a nice little alternative to just your regular coffee. So, um, but I also saw another drink which I haven't had a chance to try and it's by Pepsi and it's watermelon flavored crazy, right? And it's actually not just watermelon flavored, it says salty watermelon, which I was like, wow, okay, wonder what that tastes like. So I'm gonna have to try that and see what you guys think. But um, for a long time, watermelon is a flavor that's just not been around in Japan. I mean, there's watermelons, but you know, the watermelon candy kind of flavor that we're really used to growing up with as kids in the States where there was, you know, watermelon bubblicious bubble gum and watermelon Jolly Rancher candies, you know, you don't see that flavor as a uh, candy kind of flavor in Japan at all. So whenever I, I go to the States, I always try to bring that back for everybody here because that and cinnamon, you know, are probably some things that people just don't get a chance to enjoy. Um, licorice, another one of them too. Uh, so I'm kind of curious to try that out because that's something I know is not traditionally a flavor that people here enjoy. So um, I'll try to get a hold of that and give you guys a report the next time I'm out shopping. Um, but I'd love to hear if there's any crazy random drinks that you guys have. I know 
you know, you get a chance to go like to the Coke factory in Atlanta, Georgia, they do have some of those um, random cool flavors of different drinks and beverages from around the world. And I've always heard about that and thought, oh, I really want to go. You know, they, they describe it. I don't know if it's true and it may not have probably changed, but I probably heard this rumor when I was a kid, but, but there's like this fountain in the middle of the, um, you know, place where people can kind of congregate and you can try the different flavors as you walk around. <laughs> Probably all fueled by me having seen, you know, you know, the old Willy Wonka in the chocolate factory with Gene Wilder when I was a kid and thinking, wow, I bet that's what it's like because that'd be so cool. Um, but I know, uh, you know, all over the world there's special beverages that have a different flavor. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff here that has green tea in it. Um, green tea, coffee even, I have to find that one too. So lots of strange and unique things to enjoy. Um, so yeah, if you have any you know questions or comments, one you've heard about that you'd like me to kind of share with you guys, that's totally fine too. Uh, let me know, um, you know if there's any that you have as a favorite. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of cream sodas and root beers, sarsaparilla, love those kinds of things. And they're pretty rare here. Uh, occasionally you'll go to a, you know, American goods store and they might have a &W root beer, but usually not in the normal stores. Even though these days at 7-Eleven in Japan you can find Mellow Yellow and Dr. Pepper. Uh, those kinds of flavors are more common here, but I don't see very many of the root beers. So. Um, that's always the first thing I get when I go home to uh, America. I go buy a root beer and some real Doritos because the Doritos here are weak. But anyways, so...